Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a complete guide on how to play Bright. In this video, I'll be explaining all the basic abilities of Bright as well as I'll be giving you some combos that you can do on him. And also, if you're new to the channel, feel free to check out my other videos as well. We have a lot of tutorials, guides, top 5s and top 10s in the channel. And if you find these videos entertaining and helpful, make sure to support me by hitting the subscribe button. Now with no further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. Depending upon the range, Bright's auto attacks can switch between melee and ranged form. While in his ranged form, each of his auto attacks place one mark on the enemy up to a maximum of 5. If there is a minimum gap between you and the enemy, Bright's auto attacks automatically switch to melee form. His auto attacks in the melee form deal an additional 10% of his overall attack damage and therefore they deal more damage than his ranged auto attacks. Now let me show you the use of the stacks which Bright places on the enemy during his ranged form. As you can see here, when you use melee attacks on a hero who has been marked by his ranged attacks, Bright deals additional true damage to that target. So you have to use your ranged attack, place marks on the target and then go close to them and use melee attacks to deal more damage. The more the marks you have on the opponent, the more the true damage Bright deals to them in his melee form. This ability basically deals damage two times. The first, it's just a beam of light fired in the targeted direction and then he fires a spear of light also. While using this ability, Bright dashes a little in the direction in which you are holding the movement cursor. So you can use this to go through walls. If both the attacks hit an enemy, they get stunned for 0.75 seconds and two marks will be placed on them. If only one attack hits the enemy, only one mark will be placed. Bright's movement speed will also be increased by 50% for 2 seconds. Another very important use of this ability is that, if you mark an enemy with your S1, it gives their vision for 2 seconds even if they hide in a brush. This ability is a very good combo with your second ability and I will explain it further in the video. Bright jumps onto the target and hits them once and increases his attack speed by 25%. This ability basically takes you from ranged form to melee form instantly upon casting it. His second ability has a very long cooldown compared to the abilities of most of the other heroes in the game. However, if you mark the enemy with your S1 and then use your S2 and hit them, the cooldown of the ability will be immediately reduced to half. Also, if Bright kills an enemy hero, his S2 gets refreshed instantly. Bright's ultimate is one of the most powerful abilities in the entire game. Bright's ultimate lasts for a duration of 6 seconds. Above his HP bar, you can see another yellow color bar right, and there is a partition in the middle. That denotes the 6 seconds and the partition is the 3rd second. During the 6 seconds of his ultimate, Bright cannot use his S1. And in the first 3 seconds, Bright becomes invincible and cannot be killed. Any amounts of damage that has been dealt to Bright in the first 3 seconds of his ultimate will be nullified if the attacker also gets killed before the first 3 seconds. Here is a short clip to demonstrate what I am saying. Watch carefully. Here, Lubu and Aoi start attacking me and my HP bar drops to 50% and then I use my ult and now as you can see there is no HP left but once I killed Aoi, half of my HP has returned because the damage gets nullified. While using his ultimate, Bright's melee and ranged auto attacks also get enhanced. His auto attacks in the ranged form deals damage to all the enemies in the path and also marks everyone and his melee auto attacks deal damage to a longer range. So this is the arcana that I use on Bright. It's Rampage 10, Gorilla 10 and Skiver 10. 
and gorilla is for the attack speed that it provides and bright is mostly dependent on the attack speed and skiver and rampage give him the damage boost when it comes to arcana this is the one that i prefer because it's a really good combo with his s1 and s2 and this gets automatically triggered dealing more damage and in equipment this is the standard equipment that i use and i only recommend you to play bright in the jungle don't go for lane you need scorching wind and the only thing that i will change in the build is uh, i'll use gilded greaves as my shoe if there are there is a lot of crowd control in the opponent and one more important thing about this build is devil's handshake it is the most important item according to me because since uh, bright doesn't die when he uses his ult you can just use devil devil's handshake, uh, handshake and spam a lot of auto attacks and destroy your opponents and one more important thing is don't use bow of slaughter it doesn't work on bright when he is using his ult now let me give you guys some advanced tips on how to play bright so this is the basic combo of bright you must have already figured it out uh, from my explanation on the abilities always initiate the fight with your s1 mark the enemies first and then use a few ranged auto attacks and then use your melee form so the reason being you have to mark your enemies first with your ranged attacks so that you can deal the additional true damage most of you might have the problem that the opponents just run away when you use your ult so in order to solve this problem here is a very quick solution so what you have to do is don't use your ult in team fights immediately go in first use your ranged attacks and just mark the enemies keep poking them and once they try to jump on you and kill you then use your ult so if you go in and use your ult immediately they'll just try to avoid you and run away but if you drop down to like half hp and then use your ult they'll be in a intention to kill you immediately but then they'll all end up dying so this is how you outplay them another important problem that most of the bright players face is that the opponents just attack you deal damage and then run away before you can kill them so this happens because you don't have enough damage so bright is not very powerful in the early game and that is why you are not able to kill the opponents who deal damage to you but once you get to the late game or once you buy devil handshake you will be able to deal a lot of damage and if the enemies try and jump on you you can kill them one by one and then use your s2 which gets reset after every kill you can jump from opponent to opponent and kill everyone so in order to make this possible you have to get to the late game in the early game bright's damage is not enough to kill the opponents who jump on him and one more important tip is that don't engage in a fight without your first and second ability if either of the abilities is in cooldown wait until they come back and then engage because if you don't use the abilities in a proper sequence the cooldown gets uh, is very high and then the damage output is, will also become very low overall i would say that bright is one of the best junglers in the game right now and he is very good for solo carry as well because he can fight multiple opponents at once so if you master bright you will be able to carry a lot of games by yourself and it will help you in ranked matches a lot so that's it for the video guys i hope you all found this useful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the subscribe button hope you all have a nice day and i'll see you guys in the next video